This was a meeting of the City Council Rules Committee, which was about to take up debate over a proposal to let Chicagoans decide whether Chicago should remain a sanctuary city. Do you, as a resident of the city of Chicago, believe that we should remain a sanctuary city? It's a simple question. Well, That's why you're seeing the chaos in this city, because you're trying to silence a voice of certain people that just want to be heard. What is good, YouTube family? It's your boy, Shout Out to Black Anomaly Rising Channel. Man, today we got another person popping off against them elected officials who've gone nuts for the migrants. They want all kinds of migrant babies. They want just migrants just taking over, taking all the jobs. They want uh, freaking wages to just get lower. Okay, they just want all kinds of stuff happening from the migrants. Diseases, prostitution, all kinds of stuff. That's what they want. And this resident is not having it. They freaking went off. Like in this clip, I called myself clapping. I was clapping and hollering, listening to this. And they essentially are vowing to turn Chicago red, which effectively Chicago is a pretty big place, would probably be enough to flip this whole damn state. Take a look. Here today is Zoe Lee. Uh, man, I'm going to try not to curse, but y'all, man, like, so y'all are letting the Hispanics do whatever they want to do, keep saying we got to have dignity, but the blacks aren't doing enough in, this, in, in your leadership skills. So what's the point of being an alder person if y'all aren't going to be for the community? That makes no sense. Yes, it's starting to become a race war, but at the end of the day, I know who's going to win because we built this. Okay? This is unconstitutional. This is inhumane. And to come here and to continue to see more Hispanics and Latinos get jobs than, than blacks here is a disrespect. It's a punch in the face. You want us to continue to understand and see the problem, but y'all don't see the problem in, in the black culture. Black people are the influence. We wouldn't, y'all know, nobody would be here if it wasn't for us. Okay, this is a whole, and it's a whole new generation. This social media, this now, like, you're not gonna allow this to happen. And we're not gonna allow this to happen because we're gonna force you to do the right thing. And if not, y'all getting out of here. I was in Georgia when they flipped that state blue for the first time. I will knock on every senior's door and make them hold their vote. This place will flip red. It'll be a historical moment. Because y'all not paying attention to them anyway. They're getting displaced. Y'all don't care, but y'all trying to find y'all trying to find housing for 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 for, Vene for, for Venezuelans, for Latinos, for all that. Y'all y'all keep sending them over here when they need to go back. Y'all one time have y'all sent ICE there? ICE need to come. There's prostitute. There's prostitution that's behind. There's prostitution that's behind all of these police districts. I live in Streeterville. It's prostitution right up the street. I mean, it's, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a disrespect. And y'all continue to allow this to happen. Like, like, Mayor Johnson is the most hated. And he's going to continue to be hated. The only people that like him is teachers and some of y'all. Okay? Tax, I'm trying to tell you, my tax money is not going to continue to allow this. Y'all need to find our money. You need to put more, more, more things in our, our neighborhoods. Y'all aren't doing nothing. These small businesses, the only thing you're giving it to is Latinos, 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 Latinos. Nah, it's, 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 it's more than that. This is the most segregated city. And, and the, new, the United States is looking at us. Ms. We are not Ms. Lee, thank you very much for your comments. However, your time has expired. So this completely based individual, he let these folks know he went all around ATL. Shout out to ATL, shout it. He went all around ATL. I'm not exactly sure if this person is Chicago resident, if they've been Chicago resident, but like, I can't remember if they mentioned that, but I know they said they mentioned that they visited Atlanta. This person sounds like an ally to me because they see the writing on the wall. Like these folks 
are just straight up catering to these communities and taking literal direct funding away. Some of these communities have not been built up and built out and refurbished for literal decades. For longer than I have been alive, these communities have been impoverished and garbage and trashed. And it's disgusting that they're taking all of this money. They're pulling a rabbit out of a hat. And they're taking all of this money that just suddenly appeared whenever they feel like they really want to do something. Then they can. But otherwise, they're just like, eh, who the hell cares about all these Negroes who are struggling and poor? Who cares? D d d like, oh, oh, you voted Democrat? Thanks for your vote, idiot. Now, I'm just going to run off and give it all your money away to all the migrants. <laughs> like, hey, <laughs> well, hey, here's here's some money. Here's some money for the migrants. Here's some money for the migrants. That's what they've been doing. Tricking off for migrants. And I'm glad. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I was kind of feeling jaded. I'm kind of feeling jaded about the black community. And I'm still very skeptical. But when you see stuff like this, I'm not going to lie. It gives me a little bit of hope that, hey, you mean... You mean our people is actually starting to wake up? A lot of people are waking up. Democrats, wake up! Wake up! And they're just realizing like, hey, wait a minute. I voted for y'all a bunch of times. And my life don't seem like it ever improves. <laughs> and now you got direct evidence that they can make other people's life better who, who are entering illegally. First act of coming here is to do something illegal. A crime not get put in jail, but they'll put somebody black in jail over anything. Throw away the key, practically. Depending on, well, I don't know, these places are kind of woke, so a lot of people, black people getting away with a lot of stuff these days. <laughs> but they sure as hell didn't used to. Okay? This is not something that folks need to let go, even though there's a lot of stuff going on with like all the stuff with like the shooting, the gun laws, of the, you know, the a free speech is under attack. The biggest issue in America, I'm telling you, I know economics, okay? I know economics. Biggest issue in America right now is this migrant issue, the illegal immigrant issue. That is the biggest issue. It's going to have the, probably the worst impact on black people out of everything that's literally ever happened to black people bigger than a, a freaking affirmative action going away for colleges and, and all of that like none of that stuff even matters compared to this the ability to get jobs have a uh, good wages at those jobs is just going to be minimized the more these people keep coming the ability for the black vote to count even if these folks let's say you deport most of them a lot of these people are having children now so they got literal anchor babies here already there's plenty of anchor babies here. You don't think that they was they've been having babies since all of this started, all the way up until now? Who knows how many of these people is gonna just grow up and that they're gonna be the next voter that's going to or so saturate the community with additional people? Black vote's not gonna count anymore. They're not gonna need black people. Just like how they're not doing anything for black people now, they really not gonna do anything for black folks then, because now they're not even gonna need the vote. Wake up, folks. I'm telling you. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm a shot. Black and I'm Lee Rising. I'm out. Democrats, wake up! Wake up!